Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful. Three, two, one, go. No, I mistimed that countdown. I think I also split a little bit late. I don't know. I have no idea. I'll find out. If this golds, that's why. It's because I started the timer late. Ah, uh, no, that's... That's about where my splits end up. I mean, to be fair, if it's split too late, then we just retime it in the video. <laughs> Invalid run. Yep, yeah, it's done. It's gonna be really embarrassing when this gets world record and is invalidated because the timer started late. Uh, okay. I don't think that should have made it, but whatever. Okay, so I took the wall a little slow, and I set up a little slow, but that was not bad at all. Oops. Uh-oh. God, that is two seconds off of my gold. That's how much better that wall can be done. Well, that's how much better that wall can be done by me. I'm sure a good player could do it, like, four seconds faster. Because, <laughs> yeah, the rest of the level was great, I think. That was early. How early was that split? Eh, it was about right. Never mind. In that case, heck yeah! Sub 24 sum of best! Just skip the split? No, I won't. I want that gold. <laughs> I'm sure the whole sub of best is incorrect, honestly. See, that's why I like auto-splitters. I can't trust anything about these splits. Every single segment depends on when I hit the timer for the vortex before. That was a gold? How was that a gold? I mean, it was good, but... That didn't feel special at all. Jeez. Well, 
milliseconds can make a huge difference. Yeah, it can. And if this category was run by more than a couple of people, I would agree that it mattered. Except Gazco's record is 23.08. Second place is Chris with like a 23.15, I think. I think there are only like four runs that are sub 24. That, what the hell is happening? God damn it, it's gonna suck when this run dies later. Also, I fucking nailed that jump. <clears throat> okay, honestly though, I do feel like a lot of these segments should be able to be golded by quite a bit more. I don't know where I lose all the time I lose. No, oh my god. <laughs> Did you notice how that flop almost just kind of threw Spyro off a cliff? That's happened to me before, and it's not pleasant. Um. Anyway, yeah, the only strat that Gaz uses that I don't is in Metalhead, and I think that only saves like 30 seconds. So... There's another, like, 40 seconds of, uh, of golds that I should have somewhere. Uh, okay. That was interesting, actually. I pressed charge later than normal. And so I, when the lightning hit me, I was higher off the ground, and it seemed like it sent me higher. Oh my god, that was another gold. What the fuck? I'll take it. Um... There's a wall glide you can do in Metalhead that skips almost the entire level. It skips the entire boss fight and most of the level. Sorry, cold blow, like every time I play it. I do seem to... Hello. I do seem to gold that one a lot, actually. Um, I can't show you where the skip is because it, it's basically, uh, I don't know how well you can picture the level, but in Metalhead, you start the level and there's stairs in front of you and to the left. My route goes to the left and the skip involves going forward. So it's, it's a completely different route. I don't really pass by the skip at all. After this run, I'll uh, pull up Gaz's record video and show you, because it looks so cool. I wish I could do it. I've tried it a bunch, but I haven't been able to get it yet, even in practice. Yeah, I recommend watching the Metalhead and the record now before I get to it so you can see what we do. I mean, I say so you can see what we do. I do the level like you would expect. It's pretty obvious what the skip is when he does it. Honestly, it's probably the most interesting looking skip in the category. Hey, got that glide. Damn it. That's... 
That's not great, actually. What is happening? Oh my god. Shemp. Shemp, please. Wait a minute, why am I prepped to save so much time here? Nope, never mind. I... I miscalculated numbers in my head. Uh, that was a really bad shemp. Chris has a 2320, okay, yeah. I know Gaz's sum of best is sub-23 by quite a bit. Like, his 2308 is very good, but there's still noticeable room for improvement. Like, he doesn't get the Twilight Harbor Supercharge. He doesn't get any of the fast Wizard Peak strats. It's not like that'd be an easy run to improve. This is a hard run in general, but... But sub-23 is certainly possible. Uh, no! Um, okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. It'll just be a while before I split. <laughs> that's one thing that's fun about this category. You can mess up the balloonist dialogue and keep going. Yeah, that skip. It's pretty nuts. I've gotten the wall glide to where I land in the water over there, but I haven't been able to get all the way over to the platform. No! This run's dead. That's a lie. This run isn't dead, but that loses a lot of time. Well, it's going to be fun not seeing any of my time save for a while. I'm going to have no idea how far ahead or behind I am. How do I mess up the skip? Because I'm bad at it. That's how. That skip is not free by any means. So here's the thing. I was like 30 seconds ahead going into that, and I messed that up. I think that loses like 20 seconds. Um, I also have, like, 20 seconds to save in Shack, and I have a chunk of time to save here in Dark Passage if I just play the level decently well. As in, if I don't get eaten by any of the dogs, I should save time here. Also, if I don't bonk on a bunch of dogs, that'd help too, because that is also a problem that happens quite a bit. Okay. Whatever. Okay, and I didn't fall. Okay, I think I saved time on Dark Passage there. Can't get any golds if I skip portions? That's true. That's very true. Uh, all I really cared about for... In terms of some of best, though, was, uh... Getting that sub-24, so I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about the other golds. I'm really lucky I didn't hit that dragon. 
Yeah, I can't believe I jumped over that dog in Dark Passage. That was weird. Yeah, I bonked a couple of times. I don't think that was a gold. Also, yeah, you hold upright at the start here. That is how that works. No! Okay, now this run is dead. Shit, is it even dead, though? It's gotta be. This loses so much time. Where the fuck is the last fairy? There she is. I don't know, I might still PB by a couple of seconds. Oh boy. This is a weird run. It's gonna be really weird if I PB. <laughs> The run is probably dead. We'll find out. We'll find out at the end of Beast Makers. It also depends on whether or not I mess up Jack here. I can manage to not fuck up the end. This will be pretty close still. Yep, got that, okay. Get the treetop skip first try this time? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Amos, take me to Beastmakers. I think this might be the weirdest world route choice <laughs> that anybody has done for Vortex. Because, like, I think Gazco does Beastmakers right after Artisans because he wants to get the Metalhead skip out of the way. Um... But yeah, I don't think I've seen anybody do Artisans, Magic Crafters, Peacemakers, Dreamweavers, Beastmakers, then Nasty. This has got to be the weirdest. What was that? Why did it not hit him? That should have connected. Well, I gotta get this fodder here then. I usually like to skip it if I can. Uh, I can't make that. Uh-oh. Uh, no! Okay, now this run is dead. Now this run is officially dead. You know what, though? The magic- not magic crafters. The, uh, Beastmaker's practice I did earlier did teach me a few things. I have been learning to take a few spots a little safer. Oh, sure, I love when, uh, it starts me at the wrong camera angle. Also, when I miss the jump and need to spend three damage getting over here. What did it teach you? Oh, just, um... 
Okay, so in particular, going across that log with the three fireworks chests, I have lost multiple runs already, uh, hitting one of those fireworks on accident. And not charging across that costs, like, I don't know, half a second? It's just... It's been dumb of me to keep doing that, the way I was. So it may not have helped me with the treetop skip, but I think it will save other runs in the future. Made it first try. Yeah, you have seen a run die like that. I've seen a bunch die like that. Why did you pivot, Spyro? Why would you do that? Get it, get it, get it. Nice. Okay, so here's a thing. Um, I might still be ahead. Um, and here's another thing. These splits are gonna be shit to run against. Like, seriously, did I forget a level or something? Yeah, let's see. Obviously, Terrace Village went real bad. Misty Bog went real bad. Treetops... Treetops actually went okay. And getting to treetops went well. Let's see, I know I did Haunted Towers, I know I did Dark Passage, I know I did Lofty. Yeah, no, I did all the levels. Shit, I don't know, I am gonna have to retime this. This is really weird. Like, I figured I'd be maybe a couple seconds ahead still, if anything. What a roller coaster of a speed run, though. <laughs> Can't wait to throw it away in Twilight Harbor here. didn't throw it away. Both of the fast thieves. Okay, Nasty, let's go. Had a bad terrace, man, Misty. Great treetops. I, the thing about treetops is getting the skip first try should 
I think I did that in my PB too. Like, when I do treetops well, it's always getting the skip first try, but I think it was entering treetops I did particularly well this time. I might have saved a chunk of time on that. Nasty, please don't go too far. Thank you. Yeah, actually, my metal head was really good. That is worth noting. Twenty-five, twenty-one. Sorry, I took so long. What does that throw me? Twenty-five, twenty-one. That beats Nost and Reese and gets me to tenth place. So now I have a top in ten Kingdom? in a Spyro well, category. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? With still a bad so run. God win. damn it. Sub 25 is my goal right now. And like you can see, sub 25 should not be a problem for me. Considering I lost all that time on Haunted Towers and Lofty and uh, Terrace Village. It's basically a question of don't fuck up any individual level. God, I really need to retime this though. Wrong level warp, fell on Terrace, didn't jump in Misty, missed the Metal Gate with a Flame, fell on Lofty. Yeah, there wasn't anything else major, just kind of a bunch of small things. Oh, my Shemp was pretty bad. Like, I missed a bunch of flames on him. I probably could have saved, like, a another six seconds on Shemp, just not messing up. Um... My entrance into Toasty was a little slow, but I got it first try, so... Can't really complain about that. Oh, the Balloonist sent me to Clifftown instead of Dry Canyon. You gotta go, you lurk. Oh, all good, man. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do more runs or retime this one and call it good or what. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I need to think about it. God, this was just, this was just so weird.